Hi friends, it's Laura. I hope you're doing well out there today. I know I said that this week was going to be an alcohol inks video and that is being pushed to next week because I went out of town to help my son and daughter-in-law paint cabinets in their new home and I wasn't able to finish my alcohol inks video for you guys but I will finish it next week and wanted to take a few minutes and thank not minutes just a few seconds and thank the new subscribers who've joined um, I had a video that went out to a few more people this time and so welcome and I'm so happy that you're here and in all as always to everyone who's been here with me for a while I am so grateful for you thank you so much for being here um, I got a notification from YouTube that my channel was a year old. I had lost track of time, and so a year has passed since I put out my first video. So that's exciting. A year of making videos. I have th th thoroughly enjoyed it. I always look forward to being here, and I'm really hoping that I can um, stick to the Tuesday schedule, and so I will be able to see or I guess I don't get to see you, but I'll be able to visit with you on Tuesdays. I do wish we could see each other. That would be great, and uh, maybe sometime that could work out. But for now, just know how much I really, really love knowing that you're out there, knowing that we're connecting, and I just look forward to another year. What I have today is a haul of some fabrics that I got from Amazon and a few things that I got from the Dollar Tree. I went to get some small little containers to put my uh, vitamins in to the Dollar Tree and ended up picking up just a couple of things I thought I'd share with you. I don't think that the Dollar Tree is available in some of the other countries, so I do know that I have several people from other countries and I just love that, that we're connecting all around the world. And so, for the Dollar Tree hauls, I will um, usually probably include those with hauls of other things so that um, there's something for everybody. So what I have here are 8 by 10 fabric pieces, 30 in each color, and I got three different colors. This one, I believe, is the reds, and they are 8 by 10 and I haven't opened them yet. I have been waiting to open them with you all. And it's been hard to wait, I tell you. I used to just tear into stuff and then I would think, oh man, I wish I would have shared that. Um, like I've said, you know, before, the Dollar Tree hauls and the craft hauls, I like them a lot and like to watch it when people do them because it gives me ideas of what I might want to go and get. And especially like the stuff from Amazon or the online type of things, it's nice to see it. Somebody actually ordering it and showing what all you get. I know they try to do a good job in the ads that they do online, but you, you can't always really tell what you're getting. So this I thought I'd go through and show you if you order this online, what all you'll be getting. This one's really pretty. Um, it's cloudy outside, so I don't know if this is gonna come through today and show you how pretty it all is, but this has a nice gold sheen to it. I like that one. So all of these in this pack have a gold shimmer to them. And they're one-sided.
I like to save these bags to store scraps after projects and they just, they make nice, nice ways to store things and you can see through them and so you can put them in your drawers or your bins. So I, I always save those. I have a box full of these that I can just go to all different shapes and sizes. Also, if you sell your things, these make good packaging for that. So far, I definitely recommend this. They are very pretty. They're soft. And I love the sheen of them. It's good quality. That was the multicolored set. This one is the blue set. Well, it's called blue, but there are other colors in here besides blue. But anyway, this is the pack that's called blue. And these all have the gold sheen to them too. All the stripes where you see gold, they are shiny.
And this last one is called black. And again, even though there are lots of other colors in here, it's called black. So there were three different color options available with these Japanese 8x10 scraps. And it says they're for quilting, but I'm going to be using them for journals. And I have looked in Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics and Walmart for scrap remnants. And this is the best way well, this, for me, this was the best I, I could find price-wise to buy um, a bunch of different types of, of cut-off pieces. Um, so, I'm getting 30, 60, I've got 90 total pieces here, and I've spent um, about $40.00. So, yes, you could pick these up in a um, thrift store, you know, find pieces of, of scrap fabric, and I have done that. Definitely something um, that could be done, but, you, you know, you have to just hit it just right and just stumble upon something like that. And I really needed some more fabric um, for making these journals to sell. I wanted to use some nice fabrics. So, um, like you've heard me say many, many times, I love to use found object and found objects and fabrics from my own clothing and stuff like that from the past. Look at these little piggy banks. Um, you know, like my coat hanger ribbon and but for the journals I'm making, I want to use mostly new fabrics and such. So these are just a great find. I am so happy with this. I, um, I kind of was a little bit worried that they might be rough, you know, and you just, you just don't know until you go ahead and order them. And so I hope by me sharing these, it will help someone who might also be wanting to buy some fabrics and maybe you have been procrastinating on that because you couldn't really see all of them. So I'm here to speak on behalf of these and say definitely worth the money in my opinion. And so we'll go ahead through the rest of these from the black set and I'll do that with a little less talking again. Here made me think of this paper I got at a Joann's and how all of that will go so well together. I've done quite a few, it seems like, of craft hauls lately. And I hope you guys have been enjoying those. Thank you to everyone who's let me know that you have. I think 
one, this one was in another pack um, just maybe a little bit different color and I did notice repeats in the patterns but different colors so that is something that you'll find when you buy this is some of the same patterns in the different color packs. And um, I guess that's what this little cat is, one of the waving cats. Okay, that's all of them, 90 pieces of 8x10 fabrics, and they're really much prettier even in person than, than they are on camera, but I hope that will give you an idea of what you'll be getting if you purchase these, and I will um, put, I'll type out in the description box um, the name of these on Amazon. Before I move on to the Dollar Tree haul, I wanted to... Um, uh, talk to you guys just a uh, real quick about something I was thinking about for the future that we could do together and I got the idea from the Somerset Studio magazine that I was showing you and I think it was maybe the last video or the video um, before but it was called talismans and this lady uh, Amy Wilcutt she makes these from found objects and she puts little tassels on it it's kind of like the mala in a way that I made it's not a mala though anyway it's a talisman and I had heard of these before but I never really researched it to find out what they are um, and I won't go into that right now but here is an image of one that she made from found objects and I love finding things, as you guys know. I mean, I could show you every time I do a video, I could show you my latest found objects. And I've thought about that, but then I thought, well, I guess if you wanted to see that, you would probably let me know. And I normally, though, didn't collect things like this, like these, these um, rusty washers and such. And, you know, I see that kind of stuff all the time. And I would just, you know, walk, walk across it and, and leave it. But... I decided to start collecting those things and so here is my beginning collection of things to make a talisman out of and I thought if you wanted to make it with me you could start collecting this kind of stuff when you're out walking now and that way when I get around to uh, making that that video you could just pull out your little um, collection of things that you found too and we could we could do that together and it's fun to look for things at least i i really think it is and my husband likes to do this with me so it's something that we do together and anyway i'm getting quite a little collection going here um well, there was one that's really cool i wanted to show you if i could find it um yeah look at this thing it i just thought that was cool so, just a side note of something we could do in the future. So, if you want to do that, just be um, on the lookout for your own found objects. And then, and then we'll, we'll do this together sometime. 
And on to the few little things I found at the Dollar Tree this last time I was there. Some more of this elastic. I had mentioned that um, I thought they had it in other colors. And this was the only other color I saw, but um, it's 10 yards of elastic that you could use for a closure if you're making journals or for something else if you're doing crafts. And then I found these lace ribbons. And I'm always using lace in my journals and they had a few different ones that I hadn't seen before. And so I picked up those new ones that I that I didn't have. There's 3.28 feet in each, well, yeah, it looks like in each one of these rolls. Um, these are off-white, kind of a linen creamy color. So there's that one. There's this one. And this one. And the last one I got was this one. I was happy to find those. I found these little beads. 300 pearl pastel beads. I thought they were neat. They have the wide holes uh, and I like that. Some of the beads have such a small hole that it makes it a little more complicated to use them. And then they had these and I almost didn't get them but then I thought well they might come in handy. I've got a couple of journals that are more juvenile that I'll be making. I thought, well, these these would probably go nice on it and the colors would match. So there's 90 beads in here, these wooden beads, also with the pretty large hole. And they these came with some string too. And then these are not for journaling, but I have... Um, used these before and they work to water your plants so you just fill it with water and then you poke it down in your plant and it will water your house plant over time and I was really happy to see these this is a plastic watering stake and so you just do it like like this and um, so I just thought I'd show those to you and I only got two of these but I really might go back and get a few more so that was my little Dollar Tree haul. Thank you for spending time with me today. I've enjoyed it and I hope you found this video helpful. I look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye.